everybody, how's it going? It's Pete here and finally got a little break in the rainy season here in Japan, at least in my area. It's been raining straight for about three weeks now and uh, finally got a couple of days of sun and I recently picked up the DJI Mavic Mini drone and uh, this is to give me something to fly while my other two drones, the uh, Mavic Pro and the Inspire One, are out of action and are about to be sent off to get fixed. So I thought I'd give this a try in the meantime and uh, see how this tiny little thing compares to the bigger drones that I used for um, commercial filming and stuff for YouTube and whatever else. Uh, so I wanted to give a few little thoughts on it and I've had quite a few friends ask, uh, what do I think of this little tiny thing? And I also picked up the DJI Pocket Osmo, or the Osmo Pocket, recently, which I'm just testing today, and it seems to be working pretty good. It's following me around. Apologies if I'm getting any weird color cast as I'm sitting under a little uh, sunshade umbrella here with a bunch of different colors on it. But uh, yeah, it's pretty bright outside. So anyway, without any further ado, let's um, open it up and have a look-see. Now, it comes in this sweet little package here. It's nice to see it come with a case because uh, my bigger Inspire and stuff like that, I had to spend an extra hundred bucks or so to get a case for it. But um, this all comes in this awesome little semi-hard case. And it's, I mean, there's millions of reviews out there already for this thing, which you've probably seen if you're interested in it, but it's super light, ridiculously light and small. I mean, um, here it is next to a beer can, <laughs> which I just happen to have laying around at uh, 249 grams with the battery in it uh, as you probably heard before gets around some restrictions and things with flying um, being so small and light it's registered as a toy or as class as a toy I should say so there it is with its little arms folded out and the back just opens up here to get your little battery in just slides right in there super light and simple the batteries are nice and light. Now this is the Fly More package, so it came with three batteries. Um, so the only thing it is lacking though, is the uh, extra sensors front and back for collision avoidance, like I have on my uh, larger drones. But I mean, if you're careful enough and stay away from power lines and trees and uh, obstacles, then it shouldn't be an issue. I mean, you still have the sensors on the bottom there, so it recognizes where to land. Um, and it will it will stop by itself. It won't land on something that um, doesn't look right. So that's cool. I'm just loving the fact that it just it's pocket size. I can fold it up, stick it in my pocket, and it's much more quieter than my bigger drones as well. Okay, so here's the little controller. I love the fact that you can take off the um, the, the the thumbsticks and they just screw on like that. Makes it much easier to pack into your camera bag or your pocket or whatever. Uh, so this is the first time using a controller with no screen up here, but I haven't found it to be much of an issue as pretty much all the data you need is on your phone once it's set up into the, uh, the holder there. So no problems there. I also love this little battery charging case. All three of your batteries with the Flymore package just slot into here has a button on the side that you can press and you can check the current status of your battery charge levels, which is very nice and handy. So yeah, that's a great little addition, that one. As for the general flying and control, I found it very easy uh, to use. And let me just adjust my mic here. It's just moving around a little bit. There we are. Yep, I found it super easy uh, to launch and fly. And it also comes with propeller guards. So I had a lot more confidence flying it around inside the house as well. I'll share a couple of pictures with you. And my girlfriend was also able to get it straight up and flying, even though she's never flown a drone before. Outside, much the same, very easy to control and launch as long as the wind conditions are low. If there's a bit too much wind, uh, like over probably 15, 20 knots or so, I would probably not fly this one as it probably won't come back. So it doesn't handle strong winds as well as the bigger uh, Mavic Pro or the Inspire, which can fly pretty much in a typhoon. Uh, but if you have a nice calm day like today, 
absolutely no worries whatsoever. It has a, a flight time I found of a safely of about 15 minutes to 20 minutes maybe depending on how aggressive you're flying it around. Um, although they rate it to about 27 or 30 minutes or something like that but uh, I mean it's plenty of time to get out there get a few shots and come back and just switch out a battery no big deal at all. It has a few simple automatic controls like um, uh, you can have it you know spin around you and fly up or fly directly up away from you much as the other drones have as well uh, but it's slightly more limited than some of the more expensive ones uh, so yes this one comes in at about uh, 600 bucks or 650 I think it was with the fly more package so the three batteries and the propeller guards the case and all these other little goodies here so I think it's a good good deal for such a quality little drone it doesn't put out 4k it's 2.7 i believe uh which is fine for me no big deal but um it's just it's awesome to have such a compact little package i used to travel around with the the big inspire uh, in a huge big suitcase when i was flying overseas and shooting and uh that was only a few short years ago and now we've got something so small that can fit inside the camera bag and I can basically do the same thing. So it's a no-brainer for me. Uh, so let's check out a few little test videos with it now that I shot earlier and a few still images. Here we are flying over the waterfall in the front yard. Nice and steady, although I was a bit scared, if I'm honest, flying over the waterfall first time uh, with the drone. We don't want to crash it straight away. Um, and here's a shot of the house looking down the still images and also it does not shoot raw you just get JPEGs no raw unfortunately um, but I mean if you need that extra dynamic range you can always bracket um, or you do your HDR images so it's not a deal breaker for me although of course it would be nice to have raw capabilities okay so I'm just gonna go for a wee little flight now and give you an idea of the sound and how easy it is to get it up in the air and, and how stable it is. I'm not gonna give anything too technical with information. There's a million other videos for all that kind of stuff. This is just super practical use for uh, a, um, a hobbyist or a photographer like myself who may need to get a few quick uh, aerial images or videos for a client. Uh, let's see what we can do. Just sitting there hovering dead steady. Very stealthy, very quiet, not very intrusive at all. So you can see it sitting there dead steady pretty much. There is a light breeze trying to push it across just a little bit, but um, it's holding itself steady very nicely. We'll give it a little turn around. Beautiful. Give it a little push. It returns to its uh, original state, nice and steady. Awesome. What more can you want? And I'll give you a demonstration of the sensors underneath it. If I bring my hand under, it'll try and raise up to avoid the obstacle. But if I hold down on the stick, I should be able to bring it down, land in my hand. easy as you like and so there we are just a very quick little look at the DJI Mavic Mini so uh, as I said I have no problems uh, recommending this to the seasoned flyer uh, hobbyist or just your general professional photographer who may need a few extra aerial shots or video clips if you're interested in buying it from the US I'll have a link in the description below to my affiliate account on Amazon. All right, well, thank you very much for watching. And as always, if you appreciate the video, please feel free to uh, give us a like. And if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. And thank you very much for watching. See you next time.